just got back from my academy. And I have a lot of things to do today. So I decided to turn on my camera. I mean, right now at this night. I can't remove my mask because I look so disgusting. I can't remove it. I'll remove it later. But anyway, hi guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is December 16. I don't know what I should call this vlog. A December vlog. I think I'm too late for vlogmas. And since I won't have anything exciting to do, so this can't be a vlogmas. But yeah, this is probably gonna be my December vlog. So welcome i'm just gonna freshen up a little bit since i just got home and i look so crusty so i'll see you guys later again <laughs> hi guys i'm back so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm going to start off this vlog with a haul because that's so me i am gonna unbox a few things that i got for nails because your girl's a nail art student. I need some materials and some designs for nail art. And the school didn't ask me to buy this one, but I just bought it because I want to do it at home. And I also want to do some nail art to my relatives. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get started with the haul. Okay, so I have one and two boxes that I got because I shopped in two different stores. But... Actually, the items here are all mixed up already because I already opened them. But then I didn't like open them one by one because I wanted to unbox it with you guys. But it's already mixed up. So I don't know which one I got it from this store and that store. But anyway, I'll just show you guys because I wanted to show you guys the items that I got. And you guys might be also curious about the things that I got for nail art. I'm going to my cousin's house tomorrow and they asked me to do their nail art and I also want to do it. So... I just prepared some things that I'm gonna bring with me. Okay, so first, I got some organizers because you have to organize the stones, gems, patches. I got four of this ones. I'll just open one. So they just look like this. And you can like put in your stones in here. And I'm so excited to organize all of this. And I honestly don't know why I got this one. But this will help me organize my nail care things because the things that I got from school are all over the place right now because I don't have any organizers. So I'm gonna be keeping like my nail brushes in here, clippers, nipper, pusher, things like that. It's just another organizer but it has like two levels. That's just it. So you can like keep something else inside and on top of it you can just keep your nail brushes and i think i'm gonna use this one first and this one i'll just keep some miscellaneous things Ooh, i got this too this is a magnetic thing there's like this glitter polish that is suitable for magnet things and you just magnet it like this I don't know. it's hard to explain but yeah i got this magnet stick nail stones and patches i didn't get this one is this a freebie i don't remember putting this in my cart i got this patches i don't remember getting that this is probably a freebie i also don't remember getting any of this but yeah they probably gave me a freebie because i got a lot of things from their store please focus Yep, this one. These are just like mixed gems. And here, oh, I think I will use this one a lot. So this is just holographic um, circle stones. Here. Here, oh. Here I got a rhinestone chain. I don't know why I got this one, but it might be a good use in the future. <laughs> here I got some nail tapes nail line tapes is this what you call it i got gold white silver and black they're just really thin gold tape so you can like put a 
line on here. It's so hard to explain. I'm so horrible at explaining. But yeah. I got some foil. Um, nail foil. I have a bunch of this in the Philippines. And I regret not getting them or bringing them with me. I didn't think I would learn nails here in Korea. So I didn't even bother packing my nail art things. Ooh, now let's open this one. First thing. There are like uh, random stones mixed in here. And I also got some set designs because I feel like it's going to be cheaper that way. The holographic stones. And they come in different sizes. So I decided to get this one. This is going to be better like this. And I got this. I kind of regret getting this one because I noticed I have a lot. But it was cheap and there's like eight pieces of them so these are just like holographic um glitters i thought they would be different colors but they're all the same <laughs> this one here is rhinestones as well but they're all in different colors Ta -da! that is all in the first box and now let's move on to the second one and this one is kind of heavy. I decided to get some stones, metal patches. And these are like bears. They're bears and there's gold and silver. So I decided to get this one because I feel like I'm going to make a good use out of this. Because it's cute. I got this. This is a 3D nail mold. It's a molder. Is that what you call it? It's a molder and I got it in the teddy bear design because um, my teacher in school had this and I tried it and I really liked it because it was fun to like make your own color and yeah so I decided to get this for myself so I could use it at home these are another glitter set I think you can know by now that I'm a glitter lover I love sparkling things oh I got another patch and this one I like this. They come in different colors. This is just like a normal kind of oval shape things. Oh, I got this. I really like this one. These are stickers. Nail stickers. And it's like a twinkle shape. So I love that. Sparkling again. I got some gel polish and I didn't know that gel polish would be so expensive so I wanted to start with the cheap ones so I can experiment and find out which one is a good one so I decided to get them all in one brand because it was cheaper getting them like um, in five set so I decided to get here I got a color blue I mean light blue basic white Kind of like a dirty pink, um, faded green, and a baby pink. I have no idea why I got this one, but why is there so many things? I bought way too much. Next, I got these things. This was another set, so I decided to get it because they're divided into silver and gold. I got another mold. And this one's actually smaller than I thought. How am I gonna work with this one? They're so tiny. They're initials. Next, I got this. These are glass wrap films. And you cut them into a shape you want. Then you stick it to the nails. And it's gonna have like a holographic effect. It's so pretty. So I decided to get them because i don't know when i'll need it here i think you can tell they're all different colors here comes another set and i really like this one Joe crush new set it's inspired by chrome hearts here i'm gonna show you guys one of the stones literally inspired by chrome hearts another set i don't really know if i'm gonna need this all shopaholic tabby is a problem these are just colorful um things. Ta -da! They're so colorful and I like colorful things too. Next here, another sparkles. They're like a twinkle shape. 
and I got this in the silver and gold. Oh, well, here I got another stone. They're a teddy bear too. I'm obsessed with teddy bears. Snow sneakers. This one's for Christine because she said she wanted Christmas nails. So I decided to get that for her. And I also got these stickers because I thought this would go well with the chrome heart patches. So I decided to get this one. Initial. Also, I didn't get this, but they probably gave it as a freebie too. I didn't get this one. I don't remember putting this in my cart. I got more winter stickers. This time it's cold. Ew, oh my god, this licked. So I got this Passet top gel and base gel because I heard great reviews about these gels. So I decided to get them, but it's licking. Also, I got another gel polish. I got a color red, like um, maroon red, shining shimmering gold for Christmas. So yeah, I think that is all the items that I got. This is a mess. Look at all of this mess. When am I gonna finish cleaning this one? I just cleaned my room yesterday. Now I'm gonna organize all of this again. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. What time? Seven twenty because I finish Hagwon at six. So I packed my nail art things like this. Ta da! Cuticle remover file. Nippers and things. I do. They're the ones who don't try to keep me. I bet a lot of my followers think I have a lot of friends. But actually, I'm such a loner. Hi, guys. I'm in Christine's house and I'm gonna do her nails. Ta da! So let me just prepare my things. All of my things in here. You will kiss with Licky in here. What's okay? For your touching the clothes. Can I have the design you want, madame? Special appearance of Woody. Hi, Woody. Teddy bear? Oh. Oh. Teddy bear. Oh. 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 The 
first time we finished after two hours. Cute. We got a snowman and some snowflakes. I don't know if you can see it, but it's currently snowing and my voice is weird because I just went to the dentist so I can't speak properly Oh, my hair's a mess! It's so cold! It's snowing so much! So I also did my auntie's nails right after I got home from the dentist. Puriani prepared her own designs with the molds that I have. Ivy. Ooh, bear chinchai puta. Nice. You did a great job. My face is so swollen. The one to hamster got the hamster got the. I got my teeth removed, so my face is swollen. Anyway, I'm gonna do Suryani's nails now. Accident happens. Finished my third client. <laughs> Tweed and some winter nails. And look at the bear. The bear Suryani made. Ivy. It's currently 10.17. First meal after my dentist. Outside wearing Crocs, we're gonna go find some chicken. Chicken. It's starting to snow again. Today, I'm gonna dye my hair. It's this one. This is a primer, pre color, kind of like a bleach solution, but it's weaker than the original bleach. So, yeah, I'm just gonna retouch my roots because. They grew a lot. And I'm planning to dye my hair red. I'm gonna make a separate video for my red hair dye. My pajama is so cute. I just woke up. I have school later. But I wanted to dye my hair today. But I'm gonna dye my hair red tomorrow. I'm just retouching my roots so I don't have to do that tomorrow. I'm trying to wear my gloves. This. Yes. And then I'm just gonna. Put it in my roots. My roots. I'm just gonna do this quickly because it's already 11 30 and I have glasses up too. I wanna dye my hair red before Christmas. 
and my birthday. This one is weaker than bleach, so it's just gonna make your hair brighter like one to two shades. It won't be like really brown or super yellow. But I finished the other half and I'll be back. <laughs> Hi guys, it's already 1.20. I have to leave soon and this is the state of my hair. Um, there's nothing different. There's not a, like a huge change, but it just got lighter because my hair is really, really black. But I got lighter. Now I'm in a hurry. I have to go to school. I can't really vlog in school because I'm shy and I don't think it's allowed. But I'll try to today if I have time. I'll try to vlog in school if I can. So I'm just going to go get ready now. And I quickly have to go. Let me just quickly um, do my eyelashes. It's 1.20. I have to leave. In my face i don't do face makeup to school because i knew i'm gonna wear a mask so no one's gonna see my face in school if we have time i'm gonna paint my nails oh i didn't show you guys my nails i did some um gel extension so if i have time i can design them so i'll try to film that later but i won't be able to talk because it's so embarrassing to talk okay i think that is it okay now i have to go i really have to go bye I'm here at Concha because I have a 30 minute break before my next class. So I'm just sitting down because I'm hungry and I want to drink some milk tea. I got taro milk tea. Welcome to another day. It's actually the next day. Why does my hair look so bright? I think the primer kind of bleach lightened my hair even more. But anyway, it's the next day. And I was supposed to dye my hair red today. But I'm just gonna dye my hair maybe tomorrow or on Friday. It's currently Wednesday. And also, it's currently 4.35. If you guys are wondering why I'm at home, today is a holiday. Not a holiday actually. It's just that my academy is closed today. So we have a break today. And also tomorrow. That's why I'm here right now. And I wanted to do a mini get ready with me because i know you guys miss my um get ready with me vlogs or like my makeup videos let me put this on first because my lips is feeling really dry this video by the way is in collaboration with olens i'm gonna be reviewing some of olens's best-selling lenses and also 
I'm gonna be having a giveaway with Olen in celebration for Christmas and my birthday because my birthday is like two days after Christmas. I'll be talking about the rules and details later after I do my makeup. So keep watching if you want to join the giveaway. Right now, I look so sick. Actually, I already did my face makeup. I just put on this cushion from Laneige that I've been using really well because it's for acne prone skin and oily skin and I have really oily skin right now. But still, you could see my blemishes. Oh, by the way, look at my nails. This is what I did yesterday and my other hands is trash because I have to leave this empty so we could practice it here like extension things anyway let's start with the get ready with me Mimi <laughs> I have to put on some concealer to hide my blemishes I have been breaking out so much after I got here in Korea I don't know if it's because of the I don't know weather change or mask because I always go out and I wear the mask for like the whole day so it really irritated my skin a lot i've tried all sorts of things but they're not getting better and by the way i used this one this is the luna concealer one of my favorite concealers i mean my all-time favorite concealer they don't really completely cover my blemishes but this will do and then where's my powder I set my base makeup with this Eclipse Blur Powder Pack. Also one of my all-time favorite powders. After I came here, I went to the drugstore and got all of my favorite makeup products because I finished them all when I was in the full feed. So I just tap this part. Especially the places where it tends to get really oily, which is my T-zone and my cheeks. Just like that. My hair color is not that bad actually, but then I just want it to be like burgundy red or like red for winter. I always don't speak when I'm doing my brows. <laughs> I'm sorry, you have to focus when you're doing your brows. Next, I gotta do me eye shadow. I'm gonna be doing my go to makeup like when i go to school or if it's just like a normal day this is my go to makeup it actually got really heavier these days i don't know why but i like my eye makeup dark oh yeah i didn't show you my product i forgot how to do this makeup videos already so i'm going to use this this one's from bia it is their final shadow palette in the shade trot star here are all the colors really dark i use this one the most and this and this and this actually everything except for the glitters because they're too fancy for everyday use first i got this shade and i just put them all over my lid literally there and what i like to do is i also put it on like my lower thing here looks like a black eye but it's gonna look okay at the end there and then actually this is it i'm just kidding use this angled brushes like this and then i take the darkest shade and i just actually outline my lash line and i just put out the wing nothing really changed actually i still do the same um what do you call it same steps but different color now and with a leftover that's in this brush, I draw my silkworm. I just found out what egg yosai is in English. It's called silkworm. That's actually it for my eyeshadow because I'm so lazy. So one, two color will do. And now I have my lighter. I'm just gonna heat up my eyelash curler. Let it cool down. You don't wanna burn your lashes and just curl it. The other side too. I 
I don't know if you could see it, but my eyelashes are curled really well and I love it. For my mascara, when I go out, not school, like somewhere else, I use this Dr. Mascara Fixer from Etude House. It will literally put your lashes in place and they're gonna be curled up the whole day. But when I go to school, I don't do that because it's such a waste of product. So when I just go to school, sometimes I don't do my mascara. I'll just curl them. Or I use this. These are my go-to mascara at the moment. First one is this 5 vibe this one is from a korean instagram influencer she made her own makeup brand and her mascara is so good so i use this sometimes but right now i'm into this one basic mood up mascara long and curl because i like this one because it's really it applies really thinly and it's also easy to remove and actually this one it keeps my lashes up the whole day so i also like it guys by the way i'm not farting it's the sound of my chair it's very noisy anyway i'm gonna put this on my eyelashes there and also don't forget your lower lashes I should have done my eyeliner first, but I ended up doing my mascara first. Drew my eyeliner using this one Cleo. I don't know what this is. A pencil liner. I like this pencil liner because it just it just gets the shape really nicely. So I just draw a straight line and then with my finger, I mean my nail, I drag it out. There, I did my eyeliner. Next step is some glitters. I need some glitters under my eye. And I'm gonna be using this product. This one's from Black Rouge. It is their eye glitter. Like We're done with my eye makeup. This is it. Let's move back to our face makeup because we're not yet done. I like to contour my nose like this. Connect it to my eyebrows too. And of course, you can't forget your jaw. I'm gonna shave this all off. And to make your chin look sharper. I got a new blush and I really like it. This one is the Too Faced Love Blush Long Lasting 16R Blush in the color I Will Always Love You. <laughs> it's a heart shape, it's so pretty. So I just put this on the apples of my cheek. I don't know, cheekbone. I think this is it. Oh yeah, lipstick. That's why. Let's swipe off the lip balm. For my lips, I use this Mersey in the shade Fallen Leaves. This is like a toned down kind of purplish red color. It's a perfect color for the fall, but let's just use it now. I just had a few dabs because it's really pigmented and it's really dark. Look at that. This is my hair and makeup look. Now, we're gonna review all lenses. I'll be reviewing a total of five lenses, three of all lenses, best lenses, and my top two favorite. Let's get started with all lenses best. So one of all lenses best contact lenses right now for all time is this is the baby ring in brown and a lot of koreans like this one because it's very natural looking and it's just a perfect everyday brown lens in the baby ring line my favorite color is the beige one the beige one is more like a few shades lighter than the brown one so i like it even more and this is just a brown one so let's try it out so here's the color and it's called baby ring because of the black lining outside it's kind of like a ring so it looks very natural 
like i think you could go out and tell people that this is your natural eye color because they would believe you literally it's so pretty it kind of gives like that sparkling look or like it just makes your eyes look really sparkly the diameter of this lenses are 14.2 so it's really small now let's try on the other pair too so you could really see how it's gonna look oh my gosh it's so pretty i have tried this one on and every time i try it on it's just so pretty so this one is bittering brown my favorite line from olens next i'm gonna try spanish Grace. This is also one of Olin's famous line and actually to be honest I never tried this one too because I rarely wear gray lenses. The diameter of these lenses are also 14.2 as well. I think most of Olin's or all of Olin's um, lens are 14.2. So this is the color. I don't have it here. It's on my left eye. I think this is cute, but I'm just not used to seeing myself with gray lenses anymore. So in the Spanish circle um, line, there's only two colors, which is this gray one and a brown one. You guys should not get confused. In Olens, there's a Spanish gray and there's also Spanish circle gray. If you notice in the gray one, here, let me show you. There's also kind of like a circle ring on the outer part. The Spanish one doesn't have like a circle ring on the outer part. It's just everything is just gray while the Spanish circle has a ring. And this is how it looks like. So for people like me who likes those rings, you should get Spanish circle. And if you just like it to look everything gray, then you could get Spanish only. So I have them both eyes now next is another olin's best lenses and also this is actually one of my favorite lenses too from olin's so this one is scandi olive i use this a lot um when i found out about olin's this is the first lenses that i've tried with my own money and i really like it because i i like green and i'm also really into green lenses actually and I'm using this one day lenses and I actually feel so um, kind of like a waste to just use it on for this video but I will waste one pair of lens to show you guys so this is Scandi Olive oh and I forgot to show you guys the color in the packaging which I put on my eye so this is how they look like the inner part is olive color and i think this is just so pretty like uh, look at this it's so pretty oh my gosh i can just look at my eyes the whole day because it's so pretty so the scandi olive was one of olens's best and also my favorite lens and now the last lenses my favorite right now as of the moment is this this is Olens's glowy highlighter in the color brown and this is one of Olens's um latest release and it's actually my favorite this is so unhygienic to hold it with my hands but i'll show you guys i need a paper but i don't have a paper so i'll just use a tissue so this is how it looks like i did a review of this glowy highlighter so i'll just pop the video right here and i really like this one because it's such a um perfect everyday lens like only the half part of these lenses is brown and actually the other half is kind of like a dark color so that only the bottom part is brown i don't know if you could tell this is literally one of my favorite lenses I use this every day to school. I even used this one yesterday because it just looks so natural. They have this in three colors, um, gray and black. And the brown one is my favorite, which is what I'm wearing on right now. Do you guys see it? Like it's brown on this part while the upper part is dark. So it just gives that effect that like, your eyes are sparkling do you see that 
it's so pretty especially in the light like you could really tell that like the down part here is brown i love these lenses it's literally my favorite lens from olens i need to hoard this color before they run out so yeah this is olens review and now let's move on to the giveaway i know you guys have been waiting for this one but hold on let me put on some lipstick because my lipstick just is gone okay now the giveaway let's talk about the giveaway before we move on i would just like to express my gratitude to olens for allowing me to do this giveaway um this is something that makes me really happy since i'm able to give back to my nappies who are always there supporting me and my videos so i'm just really thankful that i am able to do this giveaway for my nappies so thank you olens forever and always olens and now let's talk about the giveaway rules so for this giveaway there's gonna be three winners not two not one but three so there's gonna be more chances for you guys and each winner will be receiving two of Olenz's best-selling lenses and I want you guys to keep note that if you guys have prescriptions and you guys um, have like different um, lens prescription for both eyes like if they're different then you'll be receiving only one color but two boxes with the different um, prescriptions if you have the same prescription then you'll be receiving two different colors so yeah i just want you guys to keep that in mind and also of course for those who doesn't have prescriptions you can still join this giveaway because olens also have non-graded lenses and this video by the way is open internationally but unfortunately um because of some restrictions olens doesn't currently ship to america as of the moment for the other for the rest it is open internationally so feel free to join and now the giveaway rules so the first step you have to do is follow olens on instagram which is at olens underscore contact lens second follow my social media accounts instagram dabby.km and subscribe to my youtube channel of course i'm pretty sure you guys are subscribed while you're watching this video right <laughs> And lastly, comment down below why you want to win this Olens giveaway. So, yeah, that's basically it. And also, please don't forget to put your um, Instagram username together with your comments so I can really check if you followed. And I'll be choosing the winners on the 30th, which is next Friday, one week from now. So, hurry and join the giveaway so yeah that is basically it for the instructions if i forgot about something i'll make sure to put them in the description box so always make sure to check the description box too so yeah i guess that is it for this olens review I'm at the Derma for the first time in my life and the reason is I'm gonna get Botox on my forehead and my nose here because I have so much wrinkles because I use my forehead a lot and to prevent them from getting deeper we have to get Botox so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm just waiting for my turn they gave me this ice roll to roll on the place where I'm gonna get Botox so cool. Uh, brain freeze. So I just got it done and there's really not a difference. It's just gonna prevent me from using my forehead and making wrinkles and they said the results are gonna be out like after a week so let's see and it was actually painful because it was injections it was actually more painful than my dentist like i teared up now 
because we're so hungry, we're going to have some food downstairs. We're having shabu shabu. This one's spicy for me and this is not spicy. There's also Vietnamese wrap. really in control of things, that is to say, in which the future is almost completely predictable. 